Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. Um, I know it looks a little bit like I've just raided my mum's house and stolen her tablecloth, but let's try and overlook it. <laughs> Everything seems to look like that now anyway, so <laughs> I thought, roll with it. This is my September favourites. I didn't actually do an August favourites because there weren't enough things that I really liked in the month, so I didn't want to just make one for the sake of it. So it is merged with some of the things that I really loved in August and then all of the things that I've been loving this month as well. If you're wondering, in case people ask, I'm wearing a mix of the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Vixen, which is super dark. I didn't realize how dark it is. And then on top, I've got the YSL, blah, 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 blah. oh God, I'm gonna say this wrong. It's like Vernier à l'air, <laughs> vinyl creme. <laughs> I think it's 409, but yeah, it's the, like the deep red one. It's really, real nice. How are you guys? I feel like I haven't had a proper chat on my channel for ages, so hey. <laughs> I hope I don't look back on this in like a month and I'm like, why did you wear that? This month has gone, ugh, I don't want to say that. This month has gone really quickly though. Uh, I'll start with a candle. I'm always obsessed with candles, but I have been buying quite a few recently. It's from Cordely. This is called the Divine Candle. Oh, I've had a product that smells like this before from Cordely and I loved it. I can't remember what it was. I think it might have been a, a body cream. Um, and this is obviously that scent in candle form. So if you like live near a Cordely store, go in and sniff, sniff this candle. It's so nice. Oh, it's a really kind of comforting yet spa-like warm scent. It just makes me feel like I'm in a, at, at a spa or something when I'm burning it at home. But it's definitely one that I'm gonna repurchase. And I feel like I should have got this candle ages ago because I've liked this scent before. I'll link everything down below if I can. Okay, I'll move on to some beauty bits. So first of all, I used to, you know, everyone used to use this on YouTube. It's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I've just rediscovered it recently. There's been two people who I've watched recently and they used it in their videos. So I was like, oh, I need to pick that up again because their skin looked amazing. I love how lightweight it is, but it gives a really nice, really nice coverage. It's not too full coverage and it's not light. It's a nice uh, medium for me. And then I feel like it's very buildable as well. I just really like the formula. It doesn't feel like it's suffocating my skin. Yeah just been a bit of a rediscovery this month. I've also tried out the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I don't have like a full opinion on it yet, so I didn't want to put it in this video. I've liked trying it out. It's definitely heavier than that. Um, and I really like the packaging and I just want to try it out a bit more before I like show it on my channel, but yeah. That's something else I've been using this month. Also what I've been using on my skin is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. So it says weightless, complete coverage concealer, light diffusing, paraben free. I used this a little while ago and then it's one of those products that I must have just misplaced. And then again, I've rediscovered it this month and I love it. I use this um, to brighten up under my eyes. I firstly use my Bobbi Brown corrector like under my eyes and then I kind of swipe it. It comes with a doe foot applicator under my eyes um, and then blend it in using my Real Techniques brush, uh, setting brush. The coverage is amazing and it doesn't feel cakey. If you like the NARS Creamy Concealer, then you'll probably like, and if you want maybe a tiny bit more coverage and something a bit more long wearing, then I feel like you'd love this. I'm medium dark warm. Some more makeup bits that I've been loving. This is such a cute little product. <laughs> Um, it's the Dior Flash Luminizer. Um, it's a radiance booster pen. This reminds me a little bit of the Touche Eclat, um, the YSL brightening pen, but I prefer this so much more. It's not the exact same purpose. This is definitely more of a highlighting pen, whereas the Touche Eclat is probably more like brightening. I just love this product. Like the way it applies, it's so easy to just apply onto the skin, quickly dab it out, blend it out onto your like cheekbones and go in the morning. I've just been using it all month pretty much, so I really wanted to include it in this video. Um, another higher end product, sorry, <laughs> that I have been really loving and I definitely wanted to put in this video is from Tom Ford. It's their Fiber Brow Gel. And I love this because it's quite a hybrid product. Um, I'm really into my brow gels. I'm very picky with them. I don't like them to be too heavy. I don't like them to make my eyebrows feel too crispy and gross. Um, and this doesn't, it's such a great product. So I'm someone who needs to fill in my brows a little bit because they don't have a lot of definition, like none, um, on their own. And then, and then I like to brush through them. And I like a product that has a little bit of color so it just defines the hairs. Um, this adds fibers onto your brows as well. So it kind of adds on what looks like hairs to your brows so it makes them look fuller. Um, and it also has a tint as well. It's just a product that I loved from the first time that I used it. 
um, and I haven't seen that many other products on the market like this and so good if you love that natural look Okay, next, I just had to give this a mention because it's, it's the cream that I grab for all the time to use on my belly <laughs> to help to try and help prevent with stretch marks, even though I know stretch marks are hereditary, but I still like to use something just in case. It's from Clarins and I've been absolutely loving Clarins in general um, for quite a few months. Like I love their face creams, um, but this is the stretch mark control cream. There's not tons I can say about it, you know, it's just a body cream, but it's just um, a lovely light cream. It absorbs into the belly <laughs> really quickly. I love the size of it as well. It will last you for ages um, and it has a nice, Oh yeah, it just has a really nice, like, subtle, soothing scent to it. Okay, then there are three lip products that I've been really liking this month, and I'm very picky with what um, lip products I choose to show in my favourites, because I'm really picky with lip products in general. <laughs> um, but I just have fallen in love with these so hard. So the first one is the Clinique um, Blushing Pop Lipstick. It looks like this, and the other people I've seen talking about it are quite a bit fairer than me, so I love that it suits so many different skin tones as well. It's just the perfect everyday color for me. It's very flattering, it's not too in your face, it also doesn't make you look dead <laughs> as well. Seems like it'll be really universally flattering. It's very small, easy to fit in your handbag. Matte, but it's not drying at all. I don't find it drying. Also, I've been loving this, which is from Clinique. They're Pop Liquid Matte. So it's a like a liquid matte lipstick in the colour um, Cake Pop. I find that this is basically like this product but in a different formulation. I feel like this is more mattifying than the lipstick actually is. This probably lasts a bit longer. And then this is the Ariana, I always say her name wrong, <laughs> it's like Ariana Grande. This is a lip gloss in Ariana Grande 2. Um, it's basically a really nice kind of more of neutral shade. Um, I love the finish. It is a little bit sticky actually. I do find that, you know, when you like smack your lips together after applying this, it is a little bit sticky. So if you don't like that, you might not like it, but it doesn't bother me too much. I love the color. Um, I love the finish of it. I just find that it looks really nice on my skin tone. Um, and I haven't loved all of the colors that she's done before, but this one I, I've really fallen for. So I just had to mention it. No Riles. Right. <laughs> You want to say hello? You guys haven't seen Riley for ages. He really wanted to cut. Don't look at my lips. He really wanted to come in. Hello. Hey. Okay, that's it for all the makeup bits and skincare bits and everything. There are a few things that I wanted to talk about that I've been loving though in general. Um, on Netflix, so I was like browsing around the other day and I was really in the mood to watch some stand up and I came across. Um, a show called Baby Cobra. She's seven months pregnant when she was performing, so it was, I think that's what drew, drew me to it, because obviously I was like, pregnant woman stand up? But she was hilarious, like, I loved it. Um, so if you like um, stand up comedy, then definitely check out Baby Cobra, especially because they're, I think there's such a rise at the moment of female um, stand up comedians. She covered different topics, it's not all about, she actually didn't speak about pregnancy that much, it was quite, um, like broad the topics that she covered but I loved that. I also really liked Tallulah. Um, it's something that I'd seen on Netflix like come up and I was like meh no that looks crap. Ellen Page is in it. Um, it's basically about this this girl who's kind of not got much going for her career wise and life wise and she doesn't kind of want a normal life. She's very out like out there. She accidentally finds herself looking after this baby and it's kind of about her like the relationship that she suddenly she starts to kind of have so much empathy for the child but she finds herself kind of running away with this baby and then you know the whole thing's about what happens and it's very touching it gets quite deep it's also quite funny um it's a real I really liked it because it's a real mix of emotion. Also depression is touched on a little bit in it, in it as well, so I just thought it's a really unusual kind of show. Like I haven't seen something like that for a long time. Let me know if you've watched it and if you've liked it as well, because I haven't really heard anyone else talk about it. My favourite YouTube channel that I found over the last two months and I've been absolutely obsessed is Nerd Writer. These really visually appealing um, video essays. I know that sounds like it might be boring, but it's not at all. The things that he covers are really topical, or they'll be about film, music, um, politics, um, art, things that I just find so interesting. And if you're like, 
if you're quite nerdy or like a film buff or if you're quite into politics or just current events I think that you might like it. They're very concise and they're very filled with information in such a short amount of time, um, but it's really digestible. I loved the Harry Potter one. I loved the Truman Show one he did recently. Oh, there's one on Casey Neistat. Actually, that's how I found it. He did one on Casey Neistat. Um, so yeah, he just does so many different ones. I love it. I think that's everything. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys missed it, um, we've released a new, a new piece at November night, the Valentina shirt dress, which is like this gorgeous, silky, deep, red material i'm in love i love it so much <laughs> so i'll link our website down below you can check me out on my second channel where i do vlogging videos you can follow me on instagram twitter snapchat and i'll see you in the next one